Hey buddies, here we are. Well, this is their pre-show, so we don't have to really worry about this. I'm gonna blur it out anyways. Hi guys, how are you? We're listening on headphones this time, so you guys shouldn't have to worry. Oh, I might. You guys shouldn't have to worry about. You're gonna have to sync up the stream to the glow, the pixelated glow. <laughs> Is that good, Becky? That level of audio? Yeah. We're wearing headphones today. Yeah, so hopefully it's not too distracting for you. It's kind of weird for us to talk like this. Why are you leaning towards me? Because. You're fine. Look, you got lots of room. I want to lean towards you. I don't want that. I woke up 10 minutes ago. Becky slept <laughs> with the kitty and apparently the kitty wasn't good. Oh my god. That fucking cat just jumped on my back all night. And tried to play with my hands. Alright. Oops. Hey, buddies. We're going live with the PlayStation Experience. Watching it live together with you. If you want to see our commentary and um, distract you while you try to pay attention to the important announcements. Yeah. See you there. Alright. The new kitty's a dick. We found him last night. Did you tell them? Probably not. If anybody didn't tune in last night, live on the air, what after I went pee, I found a kitty and brought him inside, and everybody got to see him. And that part is being uploaded to YouTube, so you'll get to see it soon, too. All right. I need my coffee. cool you ordered some of those catnip cubes they're wicked awesome still like really good quality um he has met rudiger and hugo actually through a door she, through the door yeah been batting at each other but we're not letting them get into any real dust ups because we don't want any diseases transferring Yeah, Melly, but we couldn't wear separate headsets anyways. The only thing I would do, if I could, is put it, make it so that we can wear them like this with well, a longer... Well, we can do that. Maybe we can, actually. Well, we can do it and just, like, have our faces really close to each other. Wait a I minute. don't... I think that's as far as it goes. No, if you destroy this thing, you can actually make it so... Because we need one headset. Like, we need a, one ear each. We, there's no way we're wearing two full headsets. Where are we watching this? Twitch. Okay. Thank you. You can't sync, sync a... Yeah. Sorry, guys. Unlike YouTube, it's, it would be really awesome if they would have broadcast on YouTube. Because unlike YouTube, you cannot sync up the, switch, the Twitch stream with us, so you're just going to have to, like, be okay with our delayed reactions. Um, and this is a reminder to Turbos to please don't post spoilers until you hear us reacting <laughs> don't you fucking say what you just saw 30 seconds in the future before we did i yelled at some of you guys yesterday i'm sorry and it wasn't even it was just a a hope and dream i saw quite a few of them though i don't know why Ah. I'm just trying to bite off the nub that keeps the two things together here. I don't think it's attached to it. Do we have scissors out here? Yes. I have to break the fourth wall. All right. Yeah, I'll take us away. Go get those scissors. There it is unscrambled if you want to try, like, if somehow you think you can sink it. Or if you want to know how far to sink you are with us, there you go. Those watching on Twitch are going to have the hardest time because our turbos get to watch with about four seconds of delay. You guys are watching with Twitch's copyright patented 40 seconds delay that they introduced. They're talking about selfies. They got to fill up time. 
They seem like they don't all hate each other. That's always nice. They've been getting these guys to do... <coughs> I can bring us back in now. They've been getting these guys to do stuff since, like, two E3s ago, I think, or... Okay. I don't know who they... Like, what capacity they're in. Anthony Carboni oh. was doing it for a while, wasn't he? Pardon me. I'm sorry. My allergies are, like, nuts Oh, today. Do you think it was the kitty? I think it was sleeping in a room with the cat litter. Maybe. I don't know. It's probably just dusty down there. Yeah, maybe. Oh no, we're ahead of you? How the hell can we be ahead of you? That's crazy. The guy in the middle used to work for IGN. Is that safe? What you're doing right now. <laughs> you can electrocute yourself live on the internet. And I'm going to have to give you like, too much resuscitation. All of these crazy electrical... <laughs> a lot of electricity know. pumping through these headphones. Oh, fuck off. It just oh, doesn't look safe. Audience shot. Wow. It's decent size. That's a pretty big auditorium. Big flat auditorium. It's more yeah. like a show floor. There you go. Now we can wear the opposite. So that's mine. That's my right ear. Does it fit in your ear? Because these yeah, are big just nubs. Kind of jam it in. Yeah, the, the game awards were pretty small. They were pretty modest. Oh, yeah. Oh, we need to do Turbo Buddy. Oh, yeah. Shit. Can you go get him? Yep. All right. I don't need to break the wall. Uh, oh, we don't need to break the wall. All right. <laughs> you can bet that this pre show will be cut from the main show because this ain't getting posted. We've had long stretches of not talking. Oh, you guys can't hear this. <laughs> so we can post this. That's fine. Yeah, I guess headphones work. Let me take this away. Yes, sir. Oh, nice. They dried. Um, so <laughs> you do look like you're just waking Dude, up. Dude, oh my Your god. Eyes are dark. My eyes feel like so swollen. Allergy pills? Yeah, I probably Did should you take have. You no. haven't. Becky's so anti-fucking pills that she, like, she'll <laughs> we'll wait. suffer. Yeah. He was getting rid of his dandruff. Do you have allergy pills out here? No. It's fine. She's like, pill, too many pills. <laughs> what does your mom think of that? Your anti-pill stance. She probably thinks it's stupid. Yeah. For things like allergies. For things like <laughs> other, I don't know. She can be weird. I want all the pills. All the meds that can yeah. fix all my things. I want a new jug. One that won't make me sick. <laughs> One that'll make me drive real fast and get a lot of real hot chicks. <laughs> I want a new drug. One that will make me cool. Well, make me do backflips into a cool, awesome pool. Nice. Classic Stevie Wonder. 
Um, <clears throat> remember when Sarah Silverman drank that bottle of cough syrup and then crashed into a child's playground? <laughs> no. I don't remember that. It was on the Sarah Silverman program. And she, like, started driving into, like, the sky. It's, oh, it's the I remember that. It's the first episode that I she met. Um, Black God? No. Oh. Uh, friggin', um, her sister's boyfriend. Oh. <laughs> what is his name? Man, um, these remixes are pretty sweet. Mm-hmm. Little Tony Locke. Man, fucking Wild Thing is such a good song. Yeah, it is. We could have been there, man. We could have been there. Isn't Wild Thing, like, sound the exact same as Funky Cold Medina, though? I was just going to say Funky Cold Medina. Yeah, They're the must. same fucking song. They're quite similar. I love Make both. Make me do the Wild Thing, Funky, Funky Cold, Cold Medina. Medina. <laughs> it's <laughs> the same fucking song. Oh, yeah, I should pixelize it. Not that this really matters, but in case any... Thanks, guys. Twitch people are popping in and they're like, Oh, someone's rebroadcasting. Oh, I'm going to you... tell on you. No, we're not. No, we're not. And I've tried... It was $100 per person per day. I've tried to I get um, the permission to do this like legit because twitch has the full streaming rights and twitch would easily have the ability to give me permission to do this to rebroadcast because what's the difference to them twitch has the rights what's the difference between one channel doing it or another channel on twitch doing it they just don't respond yeah. i can't get them to respond to me wanting to do this have you guys seen any other channels that do, like, live restreaming commentary? I wonder if they've given anybody the permission to do it. Oh, it's $100 for the whole weekend? Okay. Pardon my misinformation. Yes, but without permission. Do they get less ad revenue if multiple streams are doing it? Um, no, it wouldn't be less ad revenue because Twitch can run the exact same ad revenue. Those people look it's, so fucking happy. <laughs> it's Twitch. In fact, if a non-partner's doing it, they make even more because they don't have to give that non-partner a share. Yeah. Um. I want this fucking remix. Like, this entire... Set. The shadow check gets full of people during these shows. The people just like don't understand how, like, what's going on. Like, pixelate the screen. What the fuck? No audio. What the fuck's the point of this? <laughs> Can you, like, use your Sherlock Holmes abilities to kind of figure out why somebody might be doing this with an audience right now? <laughs> no, sir. I can't. Like, it's not hard to figure out what we're doing here. We're sharing an experience with people. <laughs> So they're running a bit late. Ten minutes. They haven't even presumably cued everybody in to sit down yet. What kind of chairs have they got there? Are these... They look like theater style chairs. Like, they look kind of comfy. Like... Really? Like no, they, they don't. <laughs> they, those are oh, hotel chairs. Oh, yeah, they are not comfy. Those are like the red chairs that... The one that we have, I think. This is a straight up Are they... hotel area. So this is happening right in the hotel. Uh, at least they're not foldable.
Mm -hmm. I bet a lot of people are getting friggin' friend passes on their 3DSs right now. The worst part about not being able to sync up with us guys today, because once again, it's not on YouTube, which has that beautiful DVR pause play functionality. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to be watching with us with our audio out of sync. The benefit is you get to come here to watch our reactions live and you know that if there's any... Ma the, 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 the magic of doing this is if there's a major announcement that there's no way I can keep from Becky, if they make a major announcement that just is going to be everywhere in terms of news, this is what safeguards us against that, watching these right now. Yeah. Yeah, we could wait till show and trailer, but that'll be for the guys. This allows you to see our live reaction if something mind-blowing happens. The bad thing is about not syncing up with us, even though we've safeguarded the audio this time, so you're not going to be distracted by that audio, uh -huh. is that our commentary is going to be out of sync, so you won't hear us quieting down for the moments that matter, because they're not your on the same moments. Yeah. There's going to be a little fan tribute, I think. That's not Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> <laughs> I love Metal Gear Solid. Cute footage of Revengeance. Oh, it's such a beautiful system. Yeah, it is. It's I didn't so like it at first. So, today what are we expecting? Mortal Kombat! Bloodborne, it looks like we're going to be some children of the tomorrow. Batman. Yeah. Is Children of Tomorrow an exclusive, I think? To PlayStation, I think it is. Tearaway. Oh, these are, they're just showing like everything right it's, now. It's, yeah, a bit of a montage showing everything, Sony. But um, today we expect new stuff for Bloodborne. We mm -hmm. expect new stuff for The Order to see. Um, Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot announcement. Yeah. So what's on your guys' wish list for them to announce if it's something mind-blowing that nobody was expecting? No Man's Sky, they want, like, a date. A No Man's Sky date? Uncharted 4 gameplay, Street Fighter 5. Uncharted 4 gameplay has been confirmed. Street Fighter 5... Well, at, we don't know if it'll be gameplay. It might be a CG, or, a, like, just a story trailer, for all we know. Uh-huh. Um, Last Guardian would be... Um, oh my god, awesome. Be very interesting. That, like, yeah, what's their hook going to be? What's their... I smell you, human. <laughs> what's their everybody's talking about this now feature going to be of this? Last Guardian would shake people. Mm-hmm. Although in the echo chamber of the gaming community, I think Last Guardian has become bigger than we think it is. Mm. What's he got on? Bloodborne shirt. Mm, cool. Right? Yeah, I think so. Or is that a Kratos shirt? It might be. It has the... Kratos? He calls it annual. Yeah. He, does he just confirm they're doing it every year, or...? Maybe. Wow. Are they... Are they... <laughs> Including 3DS in there? Or DS's? I don't know. Fastest selling is different than best selling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like him. I love Jack more, but I got he time had to love Jack. Big shoes to fill this yeah. guy. 
Maybe I'll start to love this guy. Maybe even love, love him. All right, what are we looking at? Ah, uh, this is going to be Uncharted. They're kicking it off with Uncharted. Yeah, this is Uncharted. <laughs> or it's technical difficulties. Or it's technical because it's real time out of Sony system. Come on. Come on, baby. Yeah! All right, Uncharted. Real time on a PlayStation 4. <laughs> Shit. Who are you waiting for? This is going to be gameplay. This is gameplay. Oh my god. Is pretty distinctively less shiny than the what they showed at E3, but that was because that was, while in-game engine, a cinematic in-game engine, right? This is gameplay, which as we've seen from even Dragon Age Inquisition, it seems that developers, like, up the graphics when you go into, like, cinematic mode. Yeah. And that's acceptable. That's pretty. That is pretty. I wonder what the frame rate is since we can only, the broadcast is in 30 frames per second. If it goes over 30, we don't, we won't know. <laughs> you know what, Nathan? He just said, whoa, when he came in here. Uh -huh. The average person might say, whoa. But the things he's seen in his <laughs> lifetime, there's nothing whoa about this area. This is just like meh to Nathan Drake. <laughs> How did he know he could jump there? It's Nathan Drake. Oh my goodness. He could feel the magnetic pull in his hands. And how did he jump with the flashlight in his hand? He's Nathan Drake. Oh yeah, sorry. Flashlight's made of metal and he has magnet hands. Ooh. I'll just, uh, for those trying to see where we are, oh, I'll just pop it in for a moment without pixelization, and that's where we are right now. That might help the YouTubes, the YouTubers sync up post, when this is posted on YouTube. He had crabs. No. Not Nathan Drake, he just saw them. I didn't say Nathan Drake did, I was talking about the skeleton the crabs were eating. Oh. <laughs> Good one. Thanks. <laughs> Mickey needs to wake up. I didn't see they were eating a skeleton. You didn't? No, I just saw the crabs. You're getting as bad as me, walking over dead bodies in alien isolation. Yeah, that's terrible. That was like bags of dead bodies, though. Who was he talking about? No. Treasure. The book looks fucking awesome. Mm hmm. Um. I'm hoping this is running in 30 frames or more. It probably is.
I love just staring at his hands. Like right there, as he used all his weight to yank that out of the thing, his left hand was just holding on like this. <laughs> just, you know. That's pretty cool. Oh, so there's a new yeah. mechanic, I guess. And I guess porous rock is what you know you... Ah, yeah. There you go. Confirmed. <laughs> porous rock yeah. you can jab your knife into. I like that he actually sounds winded. 50, 60 FPS says Naughty Dog. Right now? Like, what's running right now? Did they just tweet it or something? Which is commendable, because a game like this totally doesn't need to run 60 FPS. It could run just as comfortably in 30. Well, you know, not at just as comfortably, but comfortably. I can't remember what the previous Uncharted... Oh, that's really pretty. So, can you go... Can you go there? Yeah. Do you think it's open world? Wonder. I doubt it. I guess we're about to find out. I can't remember what previous Uncharted's run ran in, in terms of frames per second. I don't feel like I remember 60 frames per second. That has a real distinct feel, and I don't think that it had it. Well, you fuckers, just shooting at Birds of Paradise? Oh, he thinks he actually saw. Shu just dropped a bomb on Twitter. Like some about something coming up, Shu just dropped a bomb? Or don't don't tell me if it's about something unrelated to uncharted. Not related to what we're seeing right now. So, so far, um, I'm not seeing anything, like, new and fresh besides... The pick. The pick and the graphics. Um, funny, it actually... How did he kill him? Uh, brute force to the chest. Oh. Didn't you see that? He swung him around with his Nathan Drake gorilla-like strength. <laughs> the detail in the foliage here is pretty beautiful. And you know, with <gasps> oh, that's how that's what would happen to me when I play. Was he trying to drown us in that little waterfall? Yeah, <laughs> he's trying to drown. Uh oh. Yep, there you go. Classic Nathan Drake. Four bullets in the back, and he's just like, huh. Just a oh. little blood streak. Phew. You have to think of bullets as being slightly different in this universe. Okay, so it's a different universe where bullets um just do a blood like, streak in your eye. Or paintball, or paintballs. It's a paintball universe. But it is possible to die from it. <laughs> Unless you get shot during a cinematic, that's very bad. Oh, that's cool. Shit, yeah. That was fun. Yeah. What? He caught the gun. So I guess Nathan if you drop Drake. onto a guy when you're swinging, the gun will fly into the air. It's an automatic thing, getting the gun. Oh. That was cool. That's pretty cool. It, it looks so cinematic when it... Oh! Oh, no! No! Was that a joke? Did they put that in on purpose? I don't know. Do they sneak that in there just to show... 
I feel like that's intentional. Yeah, to show that it's the type of thing you put in there to show that you're watching real gameplay. Yeah, it's a smart. It did make me remember it at that moment. That this is imperfect and that what you're watching is a game in development and it looks this good despite being in development. I bet you it was intentional. Yeah. I think it was a very smart move if it was. It could have been a glitch, but it seems a little bit unbelievable that it would happen in a demo that has probably been played a thousand times through. <laughs> like, if anything they're going to playtest, they would have been playtesting this with like their entire QA team for a week to make sure it was flawless. So I feel like it was intentional. So it's pretty. Yeah. Feels very much Uncharted. There's an, um, it, it feels, it's been a while since I've played Uncharted, but it feels distinctively more Last of Us. Yeah. But maybe it's just because the last Naughty Dog game I played was Last of Us. But there's something about his movements that feel a little bit more not, uh, last, uh, what's his name? Joel. <laughs> than Nathan. <laughs> should have brought a knife. Yeah, you should have. It's the UI. Is it the UI that makes it feel more like that? I sure ain't complaining. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh. He's Nathan Drake. He can do it. I know this wouldn't, like, appeal to the majority, but I would still rather both this, like, uh, both Uncharted and Last of Us be more realistic. Yeah. Less baddies, more, like, every moment counts for your life type situations instead of I can take 70 bullets and I'm okay. Funny thing is, each Uncharted seems to start like that. They always start yeah, out with totally. these very slow encounters with just a few dudes. I guess because it's tutorial, but... Oh, so he noticed the guy isn't around anymore. That's very rare yeah, in games. It dude. feels like the only time they notice a guy died is if, like... no, Nobody on a mercenary team is ever friends with each other. They don't <laughs> notice when Joel Joe is missing. It's like... Yeah, Joe hasn't made any jokes in a while. He's always making jokes. <laughs> it does kind of seem like they might be in pairs. One with oh, a red buddies. beret and one with a lighter. Watch out for your buddy, buddy. Uh, it's not just about a hardcore like mode, Jadon. It's that there needs to be less baddies in general. Less baddies that are more powerful, but can still die to a single shot in the head. Hardcore mode is still unrealistic because you're fighting against, like, armies and it just seems so silly that anybody could get through that situation. So that looked nice. Yeah. Do you think they're going to end with some sort of, like, big... They've got to. ...hook, like something new, fresh? Well, I guess they don't have to. They've already shown, like, beautiful gameplay, a couple new yeah. mechanics. Yeah, Uncharted isn't necessarily a game that needs, like, or has room for anything new and innovative, really. Yeah. It's 
just solid gameplay with solid story. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that can that needs to really be improved is just graphics over time. Oh wow! <laughs> oh, this is really bad times. <laughs> Always love those seamless transitions from gameplay to cinematic. Uh huh. This is pretty beautiful. Sully looks weird. <laughs> is it his brother? Yeah. Little brother. Cute. I didn't even know. Did we, anybody, any big Uncharted fans in there know that if Nathan Drake ever mentioned a brother, if like it's ever been hinted at that he had family even? Like, I don't remember. Drake has a brother? Turn up the audience mic so we can hear how crazy the crowd's going. Oh, come on. Not that I remember. If you run a, a conference like this, make sure you mic the audience and that your director is like, fucking get that audience mic yeah. up now. Strategically should be raising the mic on the audience whenever it goes nuts. We know he's an orphan, nothing else really but his real huh. family. Cool. So we don't care a lot about this. For those watching on Twitch, those tuning in who aren't familiar with the show, or those who are familiar with the show but have never seen us watch a thing live, um, we're never able to get permission to rebroadcast these things. Uh, so we watch it like this and you have to kind of do your best to sync it up or be okay with if you really want our commentary you could watch it on YouTube after or you have to be okay with having our delayed reactions I really don't care about this stuff that's a whole lot of plaid that's a whole lot of plaid <laughs> oh no buddy it's <laughs> and what's with the tucked in shirt yeah. on the guy on the left? Tucked in shirts, but his boots aren't done up. Is that a new hip hop style? It's his style. Because I know undone boots has been hip hop style yeah. for a while now. Now tucking in your shirt is a thing? I don't know. My nephew's been tucking in his shirt and he's pretty fucking hip hop. <laughs> I don't say hip hop because he's black. I say hip hop because I associate the undone shoes with hip hop style. My nephew actually does hip hop and jazz <laughs> and oh my god, he's so cool. It's called Tuckle? Are you fucking kidding me? Or you're making that up. You just made up a word, right? It's not a thing. Probably is it? not. Having man. your shirt tucked in is called Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. I could see it. Like yes. the new style. Holy dude. shit, yeah. It's called Tuckle, y'all. Get your tuckle on, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> um this is the one because ml okay so mlb the show is exclusive to playstation and it's like the one sports association that doesn't have exclusive rights given over to ea which is nice so yeah. there is some competition in baseball games between what's the competitor there's mlb the show and then there's I don't know what the other, know the other baseball other game is. Um, but does it look like the games are getting better? Um, uh, like when you look at what they have to render compared to what other games have to render, it, the graphics aren't great. They kind of weren't You'd that think great. that they would be mind-blowingly good, they but they're not. They used to be 2K Baseball. But now there are no other ones. Really? Oh, wow. So this there is like, the it's the one the sport base. franchise that EA couldn't get, eh? 
still it's an exclusive which is never good whether it's ea or not like mm -hmm. i want multiple studios always making sports games this guy's drunk oh he's drunk <laughs> or hung over his ass right now yeah he looks rough <laughs> That's vodka. Drunk or hungover? I'm oh, calling it's it. It's 10 in the morning. <laughs> Probably drunk. <laughs> it's Vegas. That's why it's so believable. Like, yeah. he probably hasn't slept. He was partying 10 minutes ago. What are you talking about? He's partying right now. He's <laughs> there. Aww. <laughs> he's sweating more than the bottle he's holding. <sighs> Free to play a game. What do you think it's going to be? Kill strain. Is this, I've never heard that word before. Is this like completely new? New IP? New IP. Five V two V five. Show us gameplay. He is drunk. Maybe. He has not slept. <laughs> I'm expecting him to just throw up on stage. Yeah, I'm expecting him just to start puking. <laughs> it well, he could be hung over drunk. Like, that happens a lot, where you drink so late that when you wake up, you're still drunk. Yeah. Fuck, I don't miss those days. <laughs> Tasty cake surprise. <laughs> the audience loved that. Tasty cake surprise. <laughs> And then they showed, there was a bunch of stuff being shown in the background, like, of a gory face. So I guess we'll have to wait for whatever that represents. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Some Bloodborne. Wait. Yeah, Bloodborne. A tasty cake surprise. <laughs> So is this the man behind all of it? Like, is this, like... I've never seen him before. He was in charge of DS2. But didn't work much on it. But did he cre create the Souls series? Like, is he the... Is all of it his, his child?
roguelike dungeons in a in a Souls game. That's what I was I've been asking for since I started playing. So this is live gameplay. Why'd everybody cheer? Why'd they cheer for... Yeah, I don't know. The guy playing on stage must have done something. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh. Oh. The candles on his back. Oh my god. Cool. This guy's getting his ass kicked. How is yeah. he not dead yet in a Dark Souls game? That was enough times to kill you in almost any... God mode on? Because... Mm. I fucking love heavy weapons. He wasn't healing. You didn't see any sippy cup action or any glows around his body when he to heal. They might have God mode on for the demo. Yeah, I think it's God mode. Dev powers. <laughs> Oh, oh I holy love their shit. baddies designs.
Co-op adds so much to strategy in a game like this. To run distraction. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely god mode. He switched weapons. Okay, so the chalice... She's got a lot to remember this time. <laughs> Yeah, because mm -hmm. these guys aren't accomplishing much. <laughs> he's getting his ass kicked, and he's the dev. Without God mode? They there's... said that they were just running distraction on the back Oh, the that they didn't want to show defeating him. But still, yeah. they were getting their ass kicked oh, from yeah, the beginning. Oh, yeah, they totally were. <laughs> there's no way they were surviving without God mode, unless they've made the new, like, this way easier than any Dark Souls game. I want to know more about what the Chalice Dungeon, the biggest features. So it's like, mm -hmm. it's not the story, it's a special area you go specifically. So not all dungeons in Bloodborne are, are procedurally generated, it's just that one. And it's like a place you go to meet up with buddies to fight guys. Are we frozen? Oh, okay, no. Kind of like um, anybody who played Dragon's Dogma, you'll know that multi-layered dungeon that you fall down. Mm -hmm. You guys remember what it was called? It's like this one where you just keep falling and falling and falling, and then you choose a layer and you, and you slam into the ground on it. There he is, Adam Boys. Everybody's wearing plaid nowadays. Yeah, apparently. At PlayStation. <laughs> Eight hundred. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome that they're there. Wow, well, they're busy. Oh, I guess it's the same location. So when he says morph 800 kiosks, is he talking about 800 Morpheus kiosks? Or just 800 total for all the developers. 800 Morpheus is, is substantial. Oh, fuck. What do you say? I don't know. I didn't hear it. <laughs> Shit. Oh, death. Oh, okay. He's just talking about Destiny. In total.
That's not a good thing. That's not. A, do you hear about the loot cave? No. It's a bad thing. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> they discovered so. an exploit, and it got patched, where you just shoot from a distance into a cave, and the enemies won't come after you, and you can kill stuff that's very high above your level, and then everybody runs in to get the loot, and it takes, like, hours of shooting. Oh, my God. And they took it out, because that's lame. <laughs> It was a perfect indication of what was wrong with Destiny. People wanted loot so badly, they were willing to stand for hours shooting blindly into a cave. Wow. That's how little loot was in the game to be had legitimately. Neither do I. I guess I just won't. <laughs> Showing undying mind. No? The DLC for Destiny. Okay. Hmm. All I'm filled with now is sadness. Of what could have been. No. You won't fool me twice. I don't have the time to be fooled twice. If I want some shooty fun, I'll just go play some Borderlands. Yeah, some people really like Destiny. Mm-hmm. I never said it was bad. I said it was epic meh. Mm. Which is just, in a world with so much awesome, why ever play meh? The ultimate version. <laughs> this one's the ultimate? No, really, this time, this one is the ultimate mm -hmm. version of Street Fighter. At least they made fun of themselves when they did that DLC for Dead Rising. Yeah. Super Hyper Mega Ultimate Ultra Edition Alpha XP1 <laughs> Special. It was so long. It just kept going. It like almost didn't fight fit yeah. any YouTube title. At least Capcom knows that they're ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> this leaked on YouTube by accident. Oh no, breaking news. A new Street Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> That's the exact same as every Street Fighter before it. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know what. Oh, is he being oh. cheeky? What kind of things? So I never played Killing Floor, the original. 
I guess it's like, um, what would you guys pitch it to me as? Is it kind of like, um, like a Left 4 Dead type game? Like it's a team-based, I think, horde mode? I, I have no idea. I'm only guessing from what I've seen of clips. The it's best a, horde mode game ever. Do people like it better than Left 4 Dead? Mm, people are excited for it. Oh, well, there's some boob jiggle on that zombie. <laughs> oh, their crotches look all mangled. Kind of like Left 4 Dead, but like with character classes. Okay. Wow, all the muscle exposure. It's making me hot. Mm. You're always a sucker for that. It has so much free DLC. I know that they did a Christmas edition once. That's really funny. <laughs> it's not really a floor at all, though. It's more of a grating that allows material to sluice through. True. The boys is Canadian? Woo! I didn't even know he was Canadian. Yeah. I didn't know that. Or is either. he? Or is he talking about... No, he's talking about the studio that he's about to talk to about here. Never mind. No, but he said he grew up in Canada. Yeah, I think he, he just did. said that. Yeah. Oh, Woo! yeah, Darkest Dungeon. Vancouver! I'm excited for this. He is Canadian. I'm proud to be one. As he should be. I knew he spent a lot of time in Canada hanging out with Indies, but he didn't know. <laughs> so you guys, if you don't know what... Uh... Darkest Dungeon's all about, like, kind of PTSD. Um, your psychological effect on your team is one of the biggest factors in the game. <laughs> we probably won't ace Phil. Canada'll fuck it up. I hope not. Lino bro. Is this rust? Whoa! Creepy. The forest. the forest. I think I heard somebody say something about this. I want to build a tree fort. We should get Kyle to play this. <laughs> oh my god, those little things remind me of um. <sighs> the. Oh god, what was that fucking book I just read? Forget it. Becky will love it. Really? Huh. So Canadian. I guess my problem is I'm not interested in stuff that lots of people are playing on YouTube. <laughs> Mm. Part of the reason we never did Friday, Five Night at Freddy's. The more people I'm you tell me are playing it, like that. yeah, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck like, it. Everybody's playing it. You gotta play it. It's like, nah, now I don't want to. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm horrible for that. Portable Geometry Wars. Persona.
didn't expect them to mention this. No, is this? People seem pumped. We knew P Persona 5 was coming. Fucking right. We gotta finish that. Yeah. It's one of those things. Well, to the co it's already on console. <laughs> okay, so they're just bringing it to the next gen. Yeah. Or third. Or third, yeah. What? <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. You guys like Orcs Must Die? It's another, this is kind of like Dungeon Defenders, right? Like it's similar. Dude, gory. Jesus, a man died. Yeah, man. You're just playing with his dead body. It's really fun in co-op. So, a lot of death. Too violent. Mm. I see there's plentiful boobage on all the female characters. There really is. That one that was like dead on the ground there. She had a <laughs> decent rack. <laughs> See, I would rather play any one of these than what they're currently coming huh. out with. Oh, uh, me too. I don't know, maybe I need to play... No, but I played NHL uh, 2013 and... Meh. Eh. I'm notoriously bad for playing games like that, though. This is to make us all feel warm and fuzzy about EA. Is this EA? Oh, Brutal Legend was in there. This isn't. You need to play that? Yeah, there's a lot of games you need to play, isn't there? A lot of games we need to play. We can't play Brutal Legend. I have on the nightmares show, really, though. about the games we need to play. Oh. I've decided a while ago that I'm going to play what I want. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going to do this for my life, I got to play what I'm excited about. It's a very good plan. Or what I want. And if I just start playing things because I have to play them, I'm going to start resenting the industry. Mm-hmm. Oh. I like this guy. Yeah, this guy's the most formal guy to get up on stage yet. Oh, like, yeah. Like, by far.
What are you going to do? What kind of free games are you going to get? Oh, there you go, guys. I think I have a copy of that on every system now. Cool. Oh. That's pretty cool. Remember, you don't need to boot up your PlayStations to go get this stuff. You can just log on to the PlayStation Store online and click Add Them to Cart, buy them. And it's you'll, crazy. You'll have them added to your account, so you don't have to... It can be a chore to, like, boot up the systems, go into the store, get it. Get my goddamn free game. Yeah. <laughs> enough too. from this <laughs> yesterday it, did, it wasn't a good choice piggybacking orcs must die with this yeah should have spread these two apart a bit <laughs> oh what what the hell is this related to Dungeon Defenders or is it a completely different trailer suddenly? Hey. This is unrelated. That's, that's pretty. We are such suckers for pixels. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I might have actually seen... Well, yeah, they're just rapid firing some trailers here. Drink bucks. This is the um, Guacamelee guys. I think we saw a trailer for this at E3. Yeah. It's looking familiar. Oh. Oh. I don't mm. know if we knew this style of gameplay. No. I couldn't quite. Mm. What was going on there? Yeah. What was she... Like, was she... If it was on Xbox, I would say that's a Kinect game. <laughs> oh, this game. Oh my god. It gets so much harder. <laughs> Vicky hates hard platformers. But I love them. Nope. Until I play you, them. You don't love them to keep going. <laughs> you give up. Whoa! Really? Kratos and Shovel Knight. That's fucking cool. Is he... A gun that can kill the past. What? What the fuck am I looking at? I don't know. Do Enter the dungeon? Oh. <laughs> What's Kratos going to do in it? Yeah. The 
What do you guys think, Kratos? A playable character, or do you think he's gonna be like a a story? Oh, Arkham Knight is gonna be amazing. Did you see that picture of Deacon in the Batman outfit when he was little? No. Dude. <sighs> Rolling? <laughs> Maybe. Just did a few lines of coke? Maybe. It's Vegas, so we have to assume all of these things. Yeah. Well, you didn't see the second part because the second part was released the day after our show and trailer. Mm. This guy's energy is just a little bit too much for me right now. <laughs> Man, Batman can high kick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Don't you worry about what Batman's going to yeah, do. Yeah, man. You just... I like how everybody automatically knows, oh, it's the Batmobile. This is where the, <laughs> I get in. I know this part. He the kind of guided him. <laughs> um. How does Batman know that he's not going to accidentally shoot the pilot right now? If Batman accidentally killed a person, would he just shrivel up into a ball? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, no. I'm sorry. Be the Batman. <gasps> it's going to be fun. The storm is coming. Oh, fuck. What? This doesn't look good. What? Oh, this is the um, this is scarecrow. Yeah, he released. This is what would it? Be, this is what it would be like if he released the gas. I'm guessing. Which game was it where we faced off against the giant scarecrow? Is it the second oh. one, Arkham City? It must have been Arkham City. I can't remember. Oh, it's the first one. Really? Wow. Weird. Oh, fuck. Hoy. Batman likes, he's all, he's really into rubber. Yeah. Oh, 
what? Is this what she was talking about? It got about? leaked. This must be what got leaked. Oh, it was the switch. He's drawing Ken porn. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Just Ryu and Ken fucking each other. Dude, what are you doing? You're supposed to be working. <laughs> Street Fighter 5? Eh, I'll wait for Street Fighter 5 Ultra. Mm, I understand why you would do that. Oh, you gotta love this guy. Yeah, dude, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is the fucking best. Yoshinori Ono. He's got a little Blanca in his hand. He, I think he said that Blanca is his spirit animal. <laughs> he always has a Blanca. <laughs> So it got leaked, that sucks. Even though, again, it's not that big of it. Exclusively to PlayStation and PC. For how long? Wow! That is fucking huge! He said it. The only console it ever appears on. And boys knew enough to specifically say yeah. that because he knew we yeah, would all be... totally. Wow. Wow. <sighs> I feel bad for any Xbox owners who just assumed naturally. Like, who are big fans of Street Fighter. Yeah.
<laughs> he's so cute. You know what? He's like, it's like he's Tingle or something in a way, but less creepy, right? Yeah. <laughs> I want to see him in a Tingle outfit. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Fairy. <laughs> I fucking love how big they make her thighs. I know. It's so good. So stylized and ridiculous. Yeah. And it makes sense, too, because her legs are her biggest asset when fighting. I like that voice acting on Ninja Kick. It sounds like the classic. Ninja Kick! Ah. Uh, if he didn't say it, I was going to be sad. They know what they're doing. They could have given everybody blue balls by not having him say it. <laughs> Gio, this is our, we, we know Gio, he's from <laughs> Vancouver. He grew up with Lester. Yeah. If, Lester from our awesome video game series. That's fucking cool. That's pretty fucking cool. Oh my god. That's some cool swag. You'd be into that. To the PlayStation 3. So Yakuza is like their Grand Theft Auto in Japan. And for some reason it just never... Came over? Like it comes over but always very late for some reason. Like, huh. I do love the beat up very much. It's a Tell pretty system. Mother three. <laughs> I. I say Suku then. Wow, next week. How old are those games? Sweet it in. <laughs> Matt makes games. <laughs> Vancouver. <laughs> so such a, a horrible company name. <laughs> Saved it. Saved yep. it. Totally smooth.
<laughs> nice. Why the fuck not? Yeah. I like his shoes. Sweet. Nice. I can't believe, like, I never got to go back to this. Yeah. We gotta get... <laughs> Wanna join the team and fight robots, dinosaurs, and other jerks? <laughs> With the success of the PS4, I have not certain to have the time. <laughs> but I always have my smartphone clear my schedule, set tweets and emoticons to deadly. <laughs> For fuck's oh sake. Oh my god. That's so stupid. <laughs> He's that using is a hilarious. Phone. Oh man. I love PS4 tweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That is ridiculous. And so stupid. <laughs> so cute. They put shoe in the game. The thing is, like, could you do that with, like, say, Major Nelson? Would be. I'm sure he has his fans, but I don't think anything would be as accepted as Yoshida. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't like it. Man, that audience is full of curmudgeonly shits. Yeah, what the fuck, guys? Cool. You know, it's hard to judge an audience when you're not there. Because mm -hmm. it all depends on how they mic them and what shots they choose. But it's kind of interesting that at a fan event where everybody bought tickets versus a press event like E3, E3's audience responses are just insane. Yeah. This one seems way more muted yeah. considering... It's also hard to judge as press that gets fucking screwed over. <laughs> I'm not press, apparently, because we don't get invited to anything. Yeah, no. Bone loaf. G oh, gang beats. I heard about this. Double Fine's doing it? Oh. So Double Fine's publishing... People yeah. say this is a lot of fun. A lot of ragdoll physics in it, apparently. And it's multiplayer stupidity. Like, Really? Yeah. I think you have to play it to know what you're looking at. Um, anyways, I tweeted about this show. And like a couple people responded saying, Oh yeah, I was invited to that, but they wouldn't pay for airfare. I'm like, Are you fucking kidding Must me? be nice to be invited. Oh, we don't get fucking invited to shit. And we're not a small show. We're not huge either. But we don't get invited to anything. Big, major, huge, huge things like this. I mean. That looks fun. So Double Fine bought it. Wow. Hmm. That's cool. It's been out for a while. It, I think he said it comes out next week. It's been out for a long time. Really? They're bringing it to consoles. Oh, okay, okay. It's probably all that urethra talk. <laughs> there he is.
anything for Becker. A backer. Oh, a backer. I was like, that's not one of Gio's nicknames. <laughs> a backer. I'm actually surprised that it hasn't yet come to PlayStation. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're waiting for the full parts. Really loving the story in this so far. Yeah, me too. I'm for grabs. <laughs> That's cool that they went for the creepy style on the trailer. So I still can't get over Street Fighter being exclusive. Yeah. Like, speaking of, good segue. Uh -huh. When is that expected to come? I don't know. Hoping they'll say. When? Whoa. When? January 27th. Somebody in there saying that like the like all the versions of Street Fighter that come after don't necessarily have to be exclusive. I wonder if that really is. I guess that's true since Capcom treats like it's Ultra and Super Editions as though they were completely different games. Maybe. They're calling these high res textures? <laughs> no, I guess. I'm kind of ignoring it. Really? I kind of don't want to know. Wanna know. I, I, I've seen what it, the style. Fuck, and it looks I cool. Can't I kind of, I kind of want to just go in really blind. Cool. <laughs> wow. Wow. Was Day of the Tentacle, Day of the Tentacle was a sequel to Maniac Mansion, right? So they haven't done a Maniac Mansion special edition, so it seems weird, or unless they have, and I missed it, to skip to the sequel seems weird. Why not remake Maniac Mansion first? It was a spin-off. Yeah, it's interesting. She's got the Kratos shirt too. Huh.
it's possible, yeah, they don't have the rights to Maniac Mansion. So this is coming from Santa Monica. Mm -hmm. They have such a weird range of titles. Oh, this is a Fat Princess. <laughs> is she going to be fatter? I want her to be just massive. <laughs> Princess Plump. Oh, she lost weight. She runs around now with them. <laughs> oh, it was better when she had to be carried by seven men. Not fat enough. Oh. <laughs> I want my princesses morbidly obese. <laughs> it shouldn't be healthy looking. She just looks a little husky. She looks like Adele now. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't, she's not big enough to be a fat princess. Donacy. You make nasty. her fat by feeding her cake, so it's possible that oh, she's not her fattest her. yet. Maybe. Why does this guy look so entertained to be yeah, there? Yeah, like, dude. Just playing with his thingy. There better be a reason fork. for the plastic fork. <laughs> Is he just eccentric then? Because this is the Ked and Marty DeMassey guy. Maybe. Because remember, he also made, <laughs> he also made Nobi Nobi Boy, but he's a generally weird guy, I guess. He looked really nervous. You want him to put the hat. Uh, what the heck? <laughs> it's amazing how funny this is, even though nothing's happening. He survived. Watam? Watam. <laughs> or, so or, or in the words of somebody who doesn't like our new font. What is that? I can't read that. What is that? I can't read this. I can't figure that what out. Is that? What is that? Fraser? <laughs> Someone said that uh, an actual developer. It wasn't. It wasn't a developer. It was somebody helping a developer. Yeah. But she looked at my best business card. She's like, "What is this? I can't. I read can't this. read it. I what can't read this? this font. What is this? Fraser? <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. 
And then she proceeded to try to hard sell us on the game to, like, buy a copy. Despite saying we were pressed, being like, buy a copy now. Why not? Ugh, she was terrible. Yeah, she was pretty terrible. We won't say the game. No. So, um, this is for what? Uh, Unfinished Swan's next. Next game? Yeah. That's what I thought I heard. Yeah. We have to play Unfinished Swan. Huh. Not much to glean from that. Interesting story so far. Here you go. So we've already seen this yesterday. Are they going to show the exact same thing again, I guess? I love the girl's design. She looks like the girl we love from uh, uh, Downton Abbey. Mm. Her face. The girl I love, love? Yeah, from Downton Abbey, the one with the big lips. Kind of. You need to see her again, I think. Yeah, maybe. That's weird. So they just teased oh. a portion of what we saw in full last night. Yeah. He broke his middle finger because he gave it too many times to people. Oh. You have to be careful when you, you do that. Strain it. Mm, careful. Man, I shot him in the butt. Totally did. Can't, this can't be played co-op, can it? Uh, Main story, I mean. I'm sure there's a co-op mode. I don't think I remember them saying that. I like that you can shoot the things in the kitchen off. Mm -hmm. That would be ridiculous if you can't. Single player only. Man, he was still getting shot up while he did that killing animation. You can't... Oh, shit. Yeah, you can, it doesn't look like you can melee kill if there's still guys shooting at you. So this comes out in February, I think? Oh, man. His opponents are playing on hard mode. That seemed insane that it took two shotgun blasts on that guy. Everybody else has been dying to a couple bullets, but that was a point blank shotgun yeah. blast that took two. And that guy just died from one. Man, that other guy was good. He's good at living or avoiding gunshot 
bless. Oh, slow mo mode, quick draw. It was aiming to different parts of their body. Holy oh, man. shit! Man, I wonder. Really? How much body shots matter? Where you shoot matters. I've been wanting a game like that for so long now that mm -hmm. pays attention to where you shoot. Dead Space is like Oh, that. I know. Dead Space is awesome for that. Hmm. And it's not like, yeah. It's not like you just shoot their leg and they stop blocking. It's like, it's physics based. It knows when you hit a per certain part, they move in a certain way. That's cool. In Dead Space. Cool. It seems easier to do for a monster based game though, than with a human based game somehow. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Cool. Do they only have like one camera set up? Maybe two for the audience? Because it's like the same people. Follow doesn't have physics when you shoot a leg, I'm pretty sure. Ragdoll and stuff? I've only played a little bit of Fallout, but I'm pretty sure it's nowhere near what they did with with Dead Space. I'm so scared of this thing. <laughs> Dead Space called it Tactical dis Dismemberment. Ooh. Oh, we're finally seeing him go against this one-on-one. Yeah. -on -one. I was just assuming it was more footage of the same. Cool. Melee battles. I wonder how much of that's quick oh, time shit. and how much of this is actual gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse kind me. of silly that I called quick time not actual gameplay. Mm-hmm. Uh. Oh. Oh. Using the move. Or the PlayStation camera. Hmm. How much did they have to change the game that was designed to use the back touch surface on the Vita? Mm -hmm. I don't trust that guy. Let me help, he says. Right. <laughs> I 
Oh. That's cute. Is this very different than on the Vita? Like how people call anything that's a feature on a system a gimmick. Mm-hmm. Remember when Rumble, that stupid gimmick, started? <laughs> yep. Oh, and now we just expect it and take it for granted on everything. That stupid gimmick. <laughs> Did you not eat anything before we came out? Do you hear my yes. voice? I had a banana. Okay. I'm okay. We'll have a snack. No. So this is kind of using the same functionalities that they had in Playroom, in a way, to actually use in a game. <laughs> oh, the negativity in the chat. Not all of you. I wanted to play that so bad. Remember that stupid on gimmick on the Wii with Wii motion controls that got my grandparents playing the Wii? <laughs> what a yeah. stupid gimmick. Oh Just my trying God, to get that people was the most amazing the thing ever. Remember how you couldn't get a Wii for a half a year because everybody wanted to play oh. that stupid gimmick? This isn't the best orange. It's not bad. So this looks cute as usual. Mm -hmm. I still regret, like, I mean, we couldn't we have covered couldn't. it on the show. Yeah. We don't have, we have uh, the ability to capture the 3DS, but not now the, we can. the Vita. So now we can. That's really cute. They put so much effort into their displays at PAX, too. Like, the whole thing was all paper, paper craft. Yeah, we loved their booth. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. Incredible. We're on the front page of Twitch, whatever for. <laughs> Why not put... The actual stream on the front page of Twitch. <laughs> That's where that negativity is coming from. <laughs> is too cute. Kind of reminds me. Cute. I want to go back to it and play. Um, Puppeteer. Uh, I can't. <laughs> There's too many games. What'd you just do? <laughs> Spat out some orange. <laughs> oh, that could be us. That looks cute. He's not that big. No, he isn't. Yeah. <laughs> they said it was going to be about an hour and a half. Oh, sweet. I'm excited about this. Mm hmm You're not. You're scared. Yeah. I'm kind of more into it since yesterday, seeing some of the gameplay. Oh. Like, it's actually interesting. Before, it was kind of like a horror game, and I was like, mm. Didn't? I thought yesterday's footage made you more scared. Yeah, it did, but <laughs> it'll be entertaining for everyone else.
Did somebody kill this guy's dog? Oh, he lightened up. There you go. <laughs> Oh, he's playing too. That's fun. Yeah, fuck. Mm. That's why you never walk around in a towel, ladies. Yeah. When you're in a towel, you're most vulnerable. Yeah. Just take the towel off and walk around naked. Then you're going to be stabbed in the shower. That's why I shower <laughs> in a bathing suit. Then I take my bathing suit <laughs> off and then walk around the house naked. <laughs> Ah, good strategy. Thank you. I know how to survive. <laughs> I'm so glad my name is not Which Sam. one? Which one Run! would you do? <laughs> it's fine. It's paused. That's cute. <laughs> They're all just screaming at him. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Good presenter. He's just going to laugh at you. Don't hide under the bed. We know he finds you. Jump. We saw hiding on the bed. Jump. Yeah, jump. We saw it last night. Jump. Jump. Uh, jump. Jump. Yeah. <laughs> Is he a Mike Myers type of enemy? Is he just going to come like... Like be able to teleport somehow? Yeah. Needs more boob jiggles. Any respectable horror movie should have the girl flopping all over the place. Run! Hide. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so last night, the moment she hid, she immediately got dragged out by the guy. Uh, turn it off. Don't... <gasps> It'll know whether you move the controller. <laughs> They're screaming. Run! And then it goes into a bit of a quick time. I hope they keep the decisions. No, you have Paul. a... Oh, I meant pull it on top of me and kill me because it's just <laughs> fucking horrible. I'm dead. You don't have to do it now. <laughs> I took away your fun, asshole. He had to go like that to close it, I guess. I think. Because it showed the controller for a moment. Mm, yeah. That looks good. I'm excited. <laughs> Aww. <sighs> Awesome. So it's sort of like heavy rain. Yeah. Cool. 
Good presentation, dude. That's cool. You got these like yeah, for some reason curmudgeonly assholes to start participating. Yeah. <laughs> it's exactly why that type of a game is so good for our show. Yeah. <laughs> it's the type of game that makes people want to watch and like contribute see how you play and yell at you for playing a certain way mm-hmm. <laughs> who is this guy guys <laughs> hello to all the playstation fan cute 17 years ago what's the logo that's making them cheer what logo is making them cheer oh Are they fucking remastering it? Woo! Fuck yeah! It's a good game. Oh, I wonder how much they're gonna, are they gonna like just fucking complete, that's what it used to look like. Are they going to just, like, overhaul it? Or is it just going to be a slight? What do you guys think? Are they are they remaking it? Or are they just announcing that it's coming to the generate? This wouldn't be that big of a deal if it was just coming. I don't know. It would be cool, but it's not nearly as big a deal as a remaster. I, it's gone long enough that it seems like it's just a re-release, right? It just looks, yeah, it looks like a port. A high-resolution port, but, like, not a remaster. So at least you don't have to play it interlaced. And apparently you haven't had to play it interlaced for a while because it's on PSN, but, um... You're still excited? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I was hoping for like an update, like a complete redo. Yeah. Like I was hoping for Final Fantasy VII with the graphics that we looked at with them driving around in the car, mm, <laughs> you know? Yeah. But what are you yelling about? Oh, they're ta he's acknowledging the little Big, Big Planet remake. That's cool. <laughs> that was awesome. It's he was yelling so much so... I thought he was announcing something new, but no, he's just rehashing what he just said, but louder. <laughs> yeah. It's gotta be so fucking hard. It's fucking impressive. Reading and presenting it in a different language. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yes. No. Dudes. Huh. 
How old is he? I don't know. 70? I think 73? He might be off. Is this just a little love in uh, montage? Huh? <laughs> Cute. <laughs> this will be cute. I wonder if this is playable. If you can download this. <laughs> this is cute. Yeah. PlayStation 2 still remains their biggest system of all time. I, you have to wonder. I think the PlayStation 4 is the second coming. I think so, yeah. PlayStation 3 ha was beleaguered by a lot of startup problems. And the price. That's what I'm talking The startup okay. of their system. Uh, no, the system started fine. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> nice. Oh, and Joel. <laughs> and we got to get the guys to start so we can keep playing Little yeah, Big Planet man. 3. I guess we don't need the same guys each time. We can swap out Deacon and Kyle at any time. Who gives a shit? Yeah, that's true. It's Little Big Planet. Anybody can play it. Anniversary PlayStation. Silver? Gray. Downloadable? Something big? Yeah. Sean Murray. Tiny Hands Man? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's Maul and you, too. <laughs> I'll take it back when he delivers. I'm just saying, he's setting himself up to be Maul and you, too. Take a drink every time he grabs the back of his head bashfully. But it's so mean. <laughs> yeah, he seems genuine. I think Molyneux thinks he's genuine too. <laughs> Wow, way to bring us down. Yeah. <laughs> Eat something, Becky. Becky's stomach's rumbling like crazy. So everybody gets to play it today? There's nothing. I thought you could play it if you, at, what are you, what? You're not eating something? There's nothing there, it's fine. Oh yeah, I'll have some almond. <laughs> yeah, people can hear it on the mics. Your stomach growling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry guys.
<clears throat> One thing is like, is it is No Man's Sky all going to take place within a single server? Or will there be regional servers? Will there be... Like, is it going to be one expansive, pervasive world? And if it is, what if I tell everybody in my audience, or say a bigger show than us even, says, everybody, gather at this planet right now. How's the game going to handle that? Mm-hmm. Like, what's... In all massive, ridiculously big games right now, what what one game... Is it Planet Side 2 that allows the most people in one spot doing stuff at once? And how many people does it allow at once? Like, what's the record for, like, a game that looks really good having a ton of people in one area at once? Just Cause 2? Just cause two when modded, maybe. But probably Planet Side Two, Planet probably Side the two. only actually developed game, which allows for like what two hundred people at once fighting each other. Eve Online is done in one massive server. Okay. Well, yeah. When you're dealing with ships, I guess it might be easier. So, how many um, two thousand people per continent? So they can all gather up in one spot and play outside, 2,000 people, and fight each other? How many ships in EVE can gather up for a massive battle? I've heard the EVE battles can be insanity. Really? When everybody comes together. It's about 2,000 turbos. There's about 3,000 turbos 2, now. 2,000 turbos. Oh, I'd rudely crash land in. Oh, definitely. I would be an asshole to everyone. I'd be like, <gasps> Oh, I can't fly this thing, guys. <laughs> I'm not good under the guise of being an asshole. I will hide my inability to actually pilot the ship. <laughs> I'm no good at this. <laughs> I'm being mean. I really don't know. <laughs> The trailer seems to be continuing to get across the same ideas he's been saying. Mm -hmm. It's huge. Mm -hmm. And so far, what we've seen here is the ability to jump into hyperspace yep. to get places quicker that you've previously discovered and also use portals, yeah. stargates, to jump from place to place. Could you imagine if it actually does this? It's Just believable. Like that. Oh my god, shown. it's so fucking cool. Because the planets are relatively, like, I mean, they're simple. This isn't handcrafted. This is a fairly, e like, easily procedurally generated. I wonder how unique, how often you see creatures repeated. Mm -hmm. That would be the big thing. Like, do these guys exist on a thousand other planets? And then I want to know, like, um, what the point is in the end. Mm -hmm. Is it just exploration? Is it just exploration? Is, is it about building up a base, like in Minecraft, like making a home for yourself? <laughs> I don't, Jomad. I don't remember. <laughs> He's dropped the F bomb. He <laughs> fuck fuck fuck. Ha ha ha. I heard him say it, so now I say it. So we're gonna be looking at some new God of War.
Whoa, sweet. <laughs> oh my god, that is cool. Ne Reminds me of um, that super violent game on the Wii. Beautiful Joe? No. Super violent game. Oh, that's what it's called? No, the super... Oh. <laughs> Mad World. Thank you, guys. It must have been intentional that they named it Drawn to Death when there's a game called Drawn to Life. Because they, Santa Monica didn't do Drawn to Life, did they? <laughs> did you see his butt? I didn't. Loring Scope says, if there's no penises in the background, I'll be disappointed. There should be cocks everywhere oh, in yeah. this. And tits. But mainly cocks. Oh, there's so much to take in with this. Yeah, I like the stickies that yeah. show how to play. <laughs> Deep throat? Oh, thought. Oh, Drawn to Life was fifth cell, Scribble Knots people. Very interesting that they called this Drawn to Death. Uh, it's interesting, but it doesn't feel like the kind of world I want to spend a lot of time in. Like, it's not, like, something I could indulge in, like, TF2, because stuff like that's going to grate on you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those kind of visuals. I'm hoping for one more thing. Okay, Steve Jobs. I want something mind-blowing for the very end. <laughs> Are they done, though? It did seem like a strange thing to end on. New IP is cool, but that IP wasn't big enough to, like, knock you over. Mm-hmm. This is how they'll end it. Yeah, which I think is good. so. Yeah. I would have liked to have seen footage for a new like a new God of War announcement would have been pretty epic. Yeah. Cause have they even I can't remember, has there even been a teaser for a new God of War? There was, right? At E three, like a teaser little I think they're oh fuck I, I can't that's... remember. Does anybody in there remember? So overall, that was decent. I guess the biggest announcements were the Street Fighter exclusivity is mm -hmm. huge. Um, 
footage from things we're interested in, but overall, nothing like... Final Fantasy VII coming to... <laughs> yeah, but that wasn't... I got excited because I was hoping yeah, for a remake. For a re yeah. I would... I, I just... I like the story from Final Fantasy VII so much th and the characters in it that... And then when you hear my laments about the character design of the new Final Fantasy, despite how pretty it looks, the characters just look so blasé compared to what I've always regarded Final Fantasy as, and that's with very unique stylized characters. Yeah. It would be so cool to see a Final Fantasy VII with today's graphics. Mm-hmm. You know, basically a game that looks like Advent Children. Remember the... Yeah. The little um, movie that we watched. That's what I want to see. With just some epic boob physics for Tifa Lockhart. <laughs> um, so this is their post-show. <laughs> it's a cool sounding remix. No mics for these guys. Nobody's telling them or nobody knows. Ugh! See, it happens to other people too. They argue that it would be too costly, even though everybody in the world would buy it. <laughs> like, sure, it would be costly, but everyone would buy it. Yeah. Final a Fantasy VII are, was one of the best-selling games buy of this all too, time. Though. Sure, a lot of people would buy this, but they're not going to sell that for $70. If you yeah. re-released Final Fantasy, you retold that story in the beautiful today's graphics, everyone would buy it. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt in my mind that I'm everyone sure who bought Final very, Fantasy VII would buy well. it again. And where is Final Fantasy VII? I would VII buy ten on on the the rankings because for a long time it was in the top like five at least for for all time selling video games. Um, no, there they finally you go. brought in. Well, we don't need to listen to them anyways. That's their post-show, not ours. Um, <laughs> got a final... Got a self... Uh, final Fantasy VII again to finance Final Fantasy XV-2. Because, <laughs> you know, XV-2 will come. <laughs> Ten million highest selling. It's the definitely the highest selling Final Fantasy, it's yeah. It's all been downhill since then. Um, what else? Was there anything else big? I mean, it was nice to see some... It was overall just, like, kind of, like, yeah. It was a trailer fest, right? Like, I, or, or, like, gameplay time to see things that we know were coming. Um, if we hadn't seen Until Dawn stuff last night, I would have been very interested in that. Yeah. I'm, I'm interested in that game. Uh, it's gonna be scary. Um. Uh, Double Fine's doing some cool stuff. I'm really excited for. Grand oh, I Mad guess Night. Day of the Tentacle was a big uh, announcement yeah. for. Um. But yeah, overall, just kind of nice little thing. I am satisfied that we didn't go. Yeah. <laughs> based on just that, because I was like, you know, having. Well, they have two days. Maybe I was, they're. I feel like if the they opening had keynote, big things, if there was anything insane, it would have been during that. Yeah. I was worried that, like, because we couldn't afford to go, that we were gonna miss out on like the most epic fucking time of all time. <laughs> I don't know yeah. why I'm so worried about that. I mean, we specifically choose not to go to E3 each year. Yeah. So why should we care about what epic times we're missing out on? Because. Mm -hmm. Broken Age on the PlayStation, that's good. Untreaded 4 content looked, looked footage good. Looked awesome. Yeah, just a whole bunch of like stuff that looks good coming up. Yeah. But nothing like that the knocked us over besides I was... So I do want to know, like somebody suggested in there that just because Street Fighter V is exclusive doesn't mean Street Fighter V Turbo can't hit every console. Mm -hmm. Um... I want to know if that's true. Like, I mean, yeah, I it is kind of, I think, because Capcom stupidly does consider their DLC. And that really is what all the versions are. 
Capcom was doing DLC before DLC existed. When they released their turbo versions and their ultra versions, it was just the paying full price again for the same game that has a little bit extra content added. Yeah. Um, Shovel Knight with Kratos. Yeah, that was that was fun. But because they consider those games to be full games, it, they'll probably be able to make it so that Turbo comes out on everything. Yeah. Like a year later. I don't think they announced... No, they didn't announce Yakuza they, 5. They announced Yakuza 5. They did? Yeah. It's already, I it's already out. One, two, Yakuza three, and 5 four. has been out oh. for... I thought it was... Four. Didn't they? What was it? Four they showed? And three and Whatever. two are the, also. The most available. recent Yakuza that was released is coming finally here, which was, it was released like four years ago. Yeah. Maybe three. Um, I don't know. I, they didn't, I uh, don't they didn't announce a new Yakuza. They yeah. just announced one that has existed for a long time finally coming here. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's a, it's a very weird thing that J Sony. Well, it's not a Sony exclusive, is it? The Yakuza. Is. I guess it is, because if it only sticks around in Japan, and Xbox isn't big in Japan, it must be only a Sony game. Um, but anyway, uh, it is weird that Yakuza, they've never thought that it would ever have any interest here, for some reason. By the time they, every time they end up releasing one here, it's like so far behind that it's like a last-gen title, so nobody cares. Yeah. That's why it's not successful, I think. If they released it here and marketed it here with the same, like, you know, hyping it up with trailers and stuff, I think Yakuza could sell just as well here as it does in Japan. Yeah. But for some reason, they seem to have no confidence in that. That's strange. Because most people here, like a few people in the chat, have never heard of the other Yakuza games. Like, they're like, four? I haven't heard of the first three. I hadn't. Yeah. It's, it's a big thing over in Japan. It's like their Grand Theft Auto in a way. Someone in there said, was anyone else expecting anything from Rocksteady? Or Rockstar. And then, were you? Um, I don't know. I would never expect anything from Rockstar at another person's conference. Mm. I wouldn't expect anything from Rockstar at a conference, period. Rockstar doesn't do conferences in any form. Yeah. They just announce their games. They release something in it's a trailer form. I wonder and why they don't go to some E3. companies don't do things like that. Rockstar above all else is the worst for it yeah like i mean even valve has showed up to sony's thing had gabe newell go on stage for portal rockstar doesn't even send a person for an announcement anywhere yeah. they send trailers ahead like they'll sometimes you'll see a trailer like have wait have you seen grand theft auto trailers at e3 on somebody else's stage like playstation stage i can't even remember that whether that I happened or not GTA, GTA 5, 5 PS4 was at E3. Okay, so they send up trailers sometimes, but okay. they don't like, say, you know. I'm also surprised there was nothing on Mortal Kombat 10 or X, whatever. Yeah, because apparently Mortal Kombat is there. Yeah, and it's coming yeah. out in yeah. eight months, six months. Um, yeah, it's apparently on the show floor, but hmm. I'm surprised there was no stage representation. Yeah. Um, But yeah, Rockstar is the is the probably the worst one. Blizzard has their own con, and Valve every so often kind of shows up to something at least. Um, but uh, I would say it goes Rockstar, then Valve is the second worst. Blizzard because they don't go to anything but their own. Mm -hmm. um, that's in the order of like most hermit like companies. Mortal Kombat comes out in April. I, I thought it was later. Speaking of Rockstar, I just, I hope that when the next Red Dead is announced that I can get to it before the guys find out. Oh my god, you won't be able to. The moment I hear about it, I will get on the phone and just beg them to not look at anything and get over to the house for an emergency show and trailer now. And I can't say that to them because then they'll know yeah. exactly what it's for. So I just have to, I have to make sure I never say that to them. But I have to trust that they'll just, like, fucking drop everything and get over for anything. 
I would love to say that's going to happen. I mainly just hope that um, when they announce it, that it's with a trailer. And, and Grand Theft Auto, I mean, Rockstar seems to be pretty good with that. They're not like those other companies that drop hints about it way ahead of time. Because mm -hmm. that's the worst for our show, mm -hmm. is when little rumors and, and little news gets leaked. And then like a month after that, a trailer comes out. Yeah. I want trailer drop. Yeah. Before any other info, just trailer oh my out God, of nowhere. That would be awesome. The next Red Dead's here, you know, or something like that. That's what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. uh, I get, I'll tell you. Yeah, I'm gonna flip when it gets announced. Yeah, Red Dead is my most anticipated game. Yeah. It goes above all else, even Half Life Three. Red Dead by far is my most anticipated game. Um. They did such a remarkable job with both L.A. Noire and Red Dead at keeping it secret to the last second. Yeah. Like, Red Dead came out just a few months after everybody found out about it. That's that was pretty nuts. insane. That a game that massive was able to be kept under wraps without even so much as, a, like, a rumor. Like, everybody, I think, knew they were working on something because all you have to do is look at job postings and know that they're working on something. But it didn't get leaked. So awesome. Um... Make sure to get your free copy of Plants vs. Zombies. Yeah, I will. I think we actually have it, don't we? <laughs> no, All right. We are just not the same person yeah. right now. <laughs> Red Dead was an emotional experience for me. <clears throat> um, so anyways, yep, I guess that's our show. Nothing else to, now that I'm talking off topic. It was cool. Um, so what do they have planned? They have, um, over the course of the next two days, a whole bunch of panels, which I think the probably one has already started on another Twitch channel. Uh, people will be playing all weekend. Oh, Fraser finished Red Dead. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I watched quite a bit of it. This was, like, before we did the show. And... How's the kitty doing? Yesterday's show know. was interrupted by a kitty that I found out back and I brought him on show. That clip will be going up to YouTube soon. He was crying the in the kitty, alley. Yeah, he was crying in the alley and now he's crying in our, our downstairs room because we're not letting him see the other cats. So he's in there by himself and you go in and he starts meowing at you and he attacks you so that... He's he, cute. He just... Or she... She. Wants attention so bad. I slept with her last night and she was like like constantly attacking me and I brought her like under my blanket and she just snuggled up with me for so long. But then eventually woke up and wanted to play. Oh my god, was like jumping off of me. It reminded <laughs> me of Hugo when Hugo was a little kitty, little asshole. So got to find doing an okay. owner or something. We are looking, it seems like the SPCA's website even seems to encourage you don't really need to use them. It mm -hmm. says stuff like bringing them to a shelter can be a traumatic event. It's sometimes usually best to keep them in the neighborhood. So, like, I think it, it kind of, the website seems to encourage you do the canvas work yourself and try to find its owner. I don't... And there has yet to be a post on any of, like, the five websites that have lost animal posts in our area. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to look around for lost animal posters. Uh... We're just going to scour gonna the neighborhood and the internet. Keep our eye out for, you know, lost cat ads. Um, but if nobody claims it, basically we're going to take it to the vet to get it euthanized. <laughs> 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 I wasn't going to say that till I said I thought, like, that would be the best next. Uh, funny. <laughs> I had to laugh even before I got a laughter out of you because I felt so horrible saying it. I needed to cleanse it. Uh. No. <laughs> Um, I take it to the vet to uh, to get, um, get its, its shots, shots, and we're gonna keep it. I didn't really discuss that with no, you. No, you didn't. Look, I wanted. I've already third... named it Bartholomew. I've decided I wanted a cat name. for a very long time, a third cat, so that with. And our... I've been saying no for a very long time because of our aging little kitties. Jeez. Our kitties are aging. They're like getting up to their tenth year. That's like a halfway point. Oh, yeah. We should talk to Piano Slave about this. They're over their halfway point in their lives. Is she in there? Yeah. Give it some flea meds. Yeah. Flea meds. We'll That's probably have to give... I was thinking about. Likely, I'll have to give it to all of them. 
Um, I didn't actually name it. But I'm not committing to the idea of owning it. If a if a if a yeah. if a very sad owner is out there, we're gonna try to find it. Absolutely. To the best oh of my our God, ability. Please. Um, <laughs> Take it. Um, but like we want a young cat to keep the older the aging cats. On their toes. On their toes. Force them to like, you know, you got a little asshole around and he's going to bug you. And you got to get used to that because he'll keep you getting off your ass. And, you know, know, hopefully make the old cats act a bit younger. Everybody always says that younger animals make older animals act younger. Piano says I would give flea meds to everybody for the next couple months. Yeah. That's probably a really good call. Yeah, probably going to do that. Piano's going through to be a vet. That's why I'm... And by flea meds, you're talking about that stuff you put on the back of their neck. Yeah. Um, I think we use Frontline. Do we? I want to know. I need to remember which type because I don't want to, like, um, do the crap Yeah, like Frontline. The, either that or it's the other one. I don't know. We'll know Anyways, it when we see it when yeah. we go to the vets. Um, and uh, it's a female and we have two male cats. And yeah, like, I, I I mean, I don't think, I think I like this kitty, so. Yeah, I'd be happy to <laughs> give it back to its owner. Plus, it feels like destiny. Yeah? We were, like, thinking very strongly about going to this event. I didn't have to go pee there yesterday. Mm-hmm. And I heard the kitty. Mm-hmm. I barely heard her, too, as I was leaving. Really? Like, I almost didn't hear the meowing. And I almost walked back into the studio without even hearing Um, I think, uh, I, I think, actually, Piano Slave, can vets check for the chip? We don't have to bring it to the shelter, right? We can go to the, uh, like, our vet. I think vets probably have the device to check chips. I feel like, probably. It can't be that expensive of a device. It's just RFID. Um, yeah, vets can check. Good. Okay, cool. All right. Um. <coughs> Excuse me. They should have a scanner. Okay. <laughs> Piano Slave, would a vet do it before we pay for, like, anything? Like, would we be able to just go in and be like... Oh, uh, fuck, I would hope so. Like, you know, scan it, and if it doesn't have a chip, we're getting it a checkup and we're keeping it. If it does have a chip, then I'm not paying for anything and we're finding <laughs> the owner. You know, like, I don't, I'm not going in to give somebody's cat a checkup and pay for it when it's got an owner. Um. It depends on the vet. Like, can I just, I should just be able to walk in and then be able to be like, beep, okay, it doesn't belong to anybody. Yeah. You just Yeah, I'll let call it, ahead. You just let it slip that you pee outside. Fraser? Yeah, of course it. I do. <laughs> I go, we, we've made that known yeah, I guess before. so. We've talked about it on show and trailers. Oh, probably. Show and trailers, the guys, all three all guys, guys go out back. It's the only way. We don't have three bathrooms. It's the fastest way to get us all back inside on time. You go into the alley. You said all three guys, assuming that everybody knows that Deacon goes inside. <laughs> Deacon sits. Deacon doesn't not sit. He, he feels off. Awk- he doesn't like. Yeah. Yeah. Deacon needs to sit down. So <laughs> Becky and Deacon go inside for our two bathrooms. Yeah. And then the other three go up back. Uh, Thought we knew that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right. Maybe you did. Too um. I don't know if Deacon I don't know. Sits. We're just making fun. We have no idea. <laughs> no, Deacon comes outside with us sometimes. It's awesome because you can do that in the winter. Yeah, fuck you It's all guys. dark out there. Woo! We have our dicks! Yeah, we, got, we, do, we do have our dicks and assholes. We got both. It's awesome. Fuck. All right, guys. guys. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> we'll see you um, maybe later today. I'm going to see what our energy levels are like. We could maybe do a toad show. Otherwise, uh, I think... Like, we have the guys booked, right, for so, South Park. So, I don't know, three shows today? Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Um, see, you in a, uh, see you later. Keep an eye on Twitter and Facebook, guys. Bye.